Welcome to Electron Line. Here are the last four subtopics in the general topic of moments of inertia, which we're going to cover with these videos in this series. We're going to look at moments of inertia of composite bodies in three dimensions. For example, a cube and a wedge linked together. What is the composite moment of inertia of that? We're going to find the moment of inertia of a body with respect to an arbitrary axis. So here's an arbitrary axis called L. Here's the L unit vector. And we're going to find the moment of inertia of this body here with respect to any arbitrary axis, of course, using the direction cosines relative between the axis and the xyz axes. We're also going to find what we call the ellipsoid of inertia, the, of the principal axis of inertia. Now, what that means is, if we find the moment of inertia of many, or almost an infinite number of these arbitrary axes, we're going to end up with an ellipsoid shape. And we'll see what the significance of that is. And finally, we're going to talk about the determination of the principal axes and principal moments of inertia for a body with any arbitrary shape. It's a lot of subtopics, but it's a big concept, the moment of inertia, the moment of area, the second moment of area, and there's a lot of different uses for all those various subtopics. So we'll see how they're being applied, and of course, and how to calculate them. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned, and we'll have quite a few videos in the set explaining all those various subtopics.